Have you ever penned a note to your future self, a gentle reminder of the wisdom you've unearthed in the most unexpected places? Hello, Book Vibes family. Today we are journeying through a timeless piece, Notes to Myself by Hugh Prather. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll have a pile of notes for your future self. As avid readers and seekers of personal transformation, there's something incredible about witnessing someone's raw self-discovery on paper, right? It's like reading a personal diary filled with epiphanies and pearls of wisdom. And that's exactly what Notes to Myself feels like. Just imagine a book acting as a mirror to your thoughts and reflections. Intriguing, isn't it? Okay, picture this. You're on a solo journey, hiking up the majestic snow-clad Alps. As you brave through challenging terrains, every step reveals a new perspective. Every breath brings a fresh realization. That's exactly the journey Prather takes us on, through the rocky terrains of his mind and soul. And trust me, it's no less exciting or revealing. Let's dive into the first profound idea Prather brings to light in Notes to Myself. It's about embracing imperfections. Prather writes, My trouble is I analyze life instead of living it. How often do you find yourself scrutinizing every action, every thought? Drop your answers in the comments and let's open a discussion. Here's another fascinating note from Prather, the second big idea. I don't know what anything is. I only know how it seems at the moment. This isn't just a statement, it's a revelation. How often have we allowed ourselves to be ruled by perceptions? Has this thought ever crossed your mind? Do share. But wait, there's more. Prather's third revelation is that life isn't about the grand moments, but the seemingly insignificant ones. He tells us, don't ask what the meaning of life is, you define it. Now that's something, isn't it? Have you ever found joy in the simple things of life? A moment that made you realize, this is life, this is happiness. Can't wait to read your thoughts in the comments. Moving on to our fourth insight, where Prather emphasizes vulnerability. He writes, I sometimes react to making a mistake as if I have betrayed myself. This is where Prather's genius shines, articulating what we often feel but rarely express. Isn't it time we embraced our mistakes as learning experiences rather than personal failings? And lastly, Prather's fifth note to himself, a grand finale to our list. There is a part of me that wants to write, a part that wants to theorize, a part that wants to sculpt. Essentially, we are not just one thing, but a mosaic of desires, talents, and ambitions. How many roles are you juggling and how are they shaping your journey? I'm eager to hear your stories. These are just a few hand-picked insights from Notes to Myself. But like any good journey, the magic lies in the destination and the path itself. Prather's words act as signposts, guiding us to our revelations. You may wonder why we should pick up notes to myself out of the ocean of books. Why is it significant? What could it add to our lives? That's a fantastic question and I'm glad you asked. Notes to myself isn't just a book, it's a journey. A journey that mirrors our own. We've all had those quiet moments of introspection, haven't we? When we examine our thoughts, question our beliefs, or seek answers to our most profound doubts, Prather simply takes these fleeting moments, these ephemeral thoughts, and gives them permanence on paper. Notes to myself is significant in its ability to resonate. Every note is a reflection, a moment of self-awareness. As Prather unravels his inner thoughts, we resonate with his experiences, it's like looking into a mirror and finding a kindred spirit staring back. Reading notes to myself is like having an intimate conversation with a wise friend who tells you, hey, it's okay not to have it all figured out. It's okay to be flawed, to be vulnerable. It's okay to be you. It's a beautiful, gentle reminder that perfection is a myth and self-discovery is a lifelong journey. The book challenges us to stop reflect and delve deeper into our minds. It's not just a book, it's a personal transformation tool. It invites us to question, explore and understand ourselves more deeply. So why read notes to myself? Because it will make you laugh, cry, ponder and most importantly, grow. It's not just a book, it's an experience. An experience of self-discovery, self-acceptance and self-transformation. 
Trust me, you will emerge from this journey with a deeper understanding of yourself, armed with your own set of notes, personal insights, realizations and wisdom you have discovered along the way. And there's no treasure more precious than that. So, my fellow adventurers, are you ready to pen your notes to yourself? It's not just a reading experience, it's a journey of self-discovery, a challenge that could transform how you perceive life. Before we end this captivating journey, here's a thought-provoking question. If you were to write a note to your future self today, what would it say? Share your notes in the comments below. Let's create a treasure trove of collective wisdom on our Book Vibes channel. And remember, if you enjoyed this journey, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more transformative book journeys. Until our next adventure, keep turning pages, keep making notes, and most importantly, keep growing. And remember, every book has the potential to change and transform you. The next note to yourself could be hidden in the very next book you read. So stay curious, stay adventurous, and until next time, happy reading.